Okay, let me explain what's going to happen. Um, pretty straightforward. So, what we're wanting you to do today is just to kind of walk us through your ePortfolio, okay? Don't need to see every single component of it, you know, that sort of thing. But just kind of hit the highlights and kind of maybe any sort of, you know, explanation that you want to give about why you did what you did or didn't do, that sort of thing, that's perfectly fine. This is going to be a very short thing, maybe no more than two or three minutes, okay, per person. Okay, but it's also going to be the opportunity, the last opportunity in one sense of any of us to give some sort of constructive feedback. You know, so, you know, this is not meant to be, you know, tear anybody down or anything like that. It's just more of, okay, well, what about this? You know, do you think about maybe including that or why did you include that? That sort of thing. Okay, look at this from the perspective of a prospective student. You know, what would they want to see about you? Okay, you know, somebody that they want to potentially, you know, mirror at some point, you know, after they complete the program. Okay, look at it from the perspective of an employer. What sort of things do they want to see in terms of what sort of skill sets are you putting out there, you know, that are going to be hopefully valuable to them? Look at it from the perspective of our faculty. Look at it from the perspective of our board members. Look at it, you know, from all these different perspectives of, you know, you're telling a little bit of a story about yourself, you're putting some information out there about yourself, you're putting you know, some of the types of projects that you've worked on and examples of those to show the quality of your work and that sort of thing. That is the whole purpose of this, okay? Now, once we're done with the presentations, then we'll talk about the little um, exam that we've got you know, scheduled for the, the last half of this. <laughs> 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 So I guess first up, Carlos, we would have you walk, walk through yours, yes. and then we'll go from there. So good morning, everyone. Um, my website is fairly simple. Uh, I have a, uh, a picture of mine that a uh, small biography. And I added the curriculum that we went through in the past year at this meeting. Um, and then I have also some of my notes. Hey, click on the course notes for the real estate finance course. Of course. Okay. So um, it's pretty much the entire course. And so for those of you that don't know, Carlos took meticulous notes in virtually every single course that he did throughout the program. Now those notes are going to live in posterity up on the website, so future students can potentially use these as you know a way to, to kind of help them narrow down you know information that they may want to um, uh, utilize for um, those courses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to your site. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. So that is the reason I pulled up that specific site because you did a really good job with the notes on that. Thank so, you. all right. So we can click out of that. All right. So um, I have the same for law, for investments, for financial concepts, which is the last class we took in San Miguel. Um, and uh, you want me to show you? No, no, no. That's that's fine. We get the idea. So um, the projects uh, I have. The internship that I did with Marcus and Millie Chap. Uh, then a uh, small description of each one of them, uh, so that can you know, potential employers can see and utilize as a as a first look up to the information on it. Uh, and the skills is pretty much the all the Excel spreadsheets that you know I did during the the course of of the program, now, some of them, but not all of them are here. Um, I also have at the bottom, I have my contact information uh, with the LinkedIn uh, link. And at the end, I have the contact information with a little handshake at the back, which so basically that's what it is. And with my information and the person that's that wants to contact me. Okay. All right, so any, good job. Any, any comments, questions, thoughts about Carlos Society? Very nice. Very nice. Very I, I love the fact that you included the course notes and, and you did a good job of including most of the projects that you did throughout the, the, the program, and that's exactly what we want. And I think, um, now, where was your video? 
Oh, I didn't. I, 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 I started making one because I wanted to I have it in my phone. Um, I started like going to the places that we visit, like the Terry Styles uh, side, the, the townhomes of, of uh, Harry Posen, so that can, people can see how active we're be, you know, we were in the program, but I haven't, I haven't finished it. Okay, get that uploaded by tomorrow night. Okay. Okay, all right, thank you very much. I'm going to close out your tab. I guess we'll that tab too. Yep. Carlos, yeah. you made uh, this, this website for who? For, for, for job or for actually, us? Actually, I, I, I wanted to um, I wanted to add to the list of resources that the website that uh, San Miguel gave us. That way I can use it for myself and have it like all on the same page. But it's also for, for potential employers. So for both? Yeah, it's for, for me and for me. <coughs> So just in general, how did you, uh, go ahead and come on back. Um, how did you guys like using Wix? Was it pretty easy? Yeah. yeah. I, I used to I, use Net, what is Net Escapes, and it was really more word driven, like yeah. it's, uh, and it's a lot easier to navigate, but since that's what you sent, I had to relearn some things, but it wasn't terrible. Yeah. It was, yeah, it wasn't terrible. It's just like, I think one of the, the page that I picked after I was trying to get with it, I realized that it wasn't allowing me to do certain things, but you had to see that. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Go ahead. Also, what I like is that they gave you a lot of different templates. Yeah. And, and you can just pick whatever you just want. Yeah. It's so great. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Very good. <laughs> It's up to you. I mean, keep in mind, the whole purpose, in my mind, is for you to demonstrate your competencies, your skill sets, you know, what you're capable of, what you experienced while you went through the program. So ultimately, it's your judgment call, but you know, the, the, the idea is that you're putting your work out there. I mean, think of it like this, and kind of the, the idea for electronic portfolios or portfolios in general, you know, schools of design, schools of architecture, you know, the, the idea is that from the time that they enter a school until the time that they leave, that they keep a collection of all their drawings, all their projects, all of their photos, all these, these things that they've done to be able to show, you know, once again, someone the, an example of their work. Well, you know, in a program like ours, I mean, there's some things that are very easy to show, you know, a, a finished feasibility study or, you know, potentially a, a video presentation of a project. But you know, in some instances, you do want to show off, you know, an Excel spreadsheet that you built to, to show, okay, yeah, you do have that competency. That um, is, is that, that is part of what is going to to to, to help I, someone. When I doubt it was like those project because like I, they have the result, but they don't 
have like a question. So should I scan it? Put what was asked okay, once you, that's, that's up to you. It, um, to me, it's just about you demonstrating your competency, you know, and your capability as it relates to these items so that someone, if they potentially were interested in you, they could click on these items and they could say, oh, Miriam knows how to do this. Wow, look at this spreadsheet, how you know, great of a job that she did here. Um, here's a, a sample of her writing. She obviously knows how to put together a paragraph or she doesn't. You know, those are the sorts of things that, you know, it's an extended version of, you know, your resume and, and your ability to kind of communicate what you're capable of. Thoughts, questions, observations about Miriam's side? You may want to add a little color. A little color? A little color. Too. I don't know, but I think background. Yeah, background color. You know, first I'm going to put colors, and then I'm imagining that I'm going to put the background color. Yeah. You know, first I'm going to put colors, and then I remember when we did a project uh, for development too, the, the PowerPoint presentation. I, first we did it with color, and then we decided to do black and white, just a, a little bit of yellow, and I really like the result, so it, it inspired me. It's a choice. But I, I agree with you. I, you know, I had for her. Oh. <laughs> and some people told me I had to put pictures on the picture. <laughs> you're, you're a very functional side, Miriam, so it's, it's good. That's it's good. <laughs> you have a post. You okay. Know. And can I use pink in color? Because I saw maybe it's too girly. Like. Girly is in right now. Yeah, right. Girly is in right now. Those are personal choices. <laughs> That's, once again, that's, that's, a, that's a tough one. I mean, I, I, don't know, I would stick with neutral, but that's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> up to you. Depends on what type of job you're going for. Acquisition. Uh, yeah, so black and white. Yeah, that's you know, sad, but, sad. Yeah. I mean, uh, not, not sad, but just. You know, no, 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 <laughs> but, I mean, you know, not to belabor this, but I mean, you know, Mary, there's no question in my mind, your primary skill set is with the numbers. Yes. And that that is an extremely important piece, yes. you know. And so, you know, that's the piece that, you know, should be focused on. I have another question. In my first page, the home page, you know, yeah. the picture where I say I'm graduating from the back. I, I change it and I say, I'm looking for an acquisition and right. a disposition. Can I do that? Absolutely. Because then I remove it. I said, you never know if someone wants me for something else. Sure. Should I remove it? That, once again, your choice. What are you trying to? What do you want to accomplish right now with this? You know, if you're going to be using it in a job search for an acquisition analyst, then have that stated there. But if but if, if your job search is broader than that, then I would not include it. Yeah, maybe you can we can put you know, looking for something in the field of acquisitions and something else in other real estate areas. In other real estate areas. So but they still put in, in your first? You can say that you're open to, to like different open options. Hmm? You can say that you're open to looking to different options. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. You, yeah. I'm interested, but I'm, I'm open to looking at mm -hmm. different sure. options. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who's going to be next. Our wheel of choice. <laughs> so is this a whole class? <laughs> oh, it's many of them. Looks like half of the class. Okay, he's not here. Okay, Dara. 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 All right. Hello, everybody. Um, um, I try to keep my portfolio simple, and I wanted it to kind of reflect a little bit of who I am. So my picture, I have like a professional, professional picture, but I feel like it gives my viewer some sort of insight on, like me, I guess. Um, and 
I have color and it's pink, it's very girly, but that's me. Um, I started off with some background on what I've, what I've done and basically my, my um, background in my professional area and then went into my resume basically on the different law firms that I've worked with the, over the past 10 years, my education, the different schools, my contact, and then my video opportunity. Um, I didn't want to start it off with my video, but maybe no, it's a good place for it. Okay, and then my contact information is up here, but then if they want to leave a message, it's fine. It's not here. Um, upload that recently? What do you mean? Is that your project site? Um, yeah. Where so I just, just update, you, maybe you can update. publish it? Yeah, I did. Then just maybe just refresh it. Maybe it's oh, okay, okay. I'm just going to show you guys from here, but um, That's what I, think. Um, I listed all the classes that I've taken. This is not what it looks like on the actual project site, but I listed all the classes that I've taken, and um, I put the title of the project on which I, um, that I kind of like uploaded, and then like a description of the course and what it was that I guess the objective of the course was. I wanted to add this video in, but I wasn't sure because I, I was on a stance like how Mary was. I don't really want people <laughs> being able to like take my idea. But if you guys think that it's something that I can or that I should, I will gladly do so. Yeah, go ahead and get that incorporated. But make sure you get that done by tomorrow night. Okay. And that's it, guys. Okay, yeah, great. Go ahead and get closures out up there, and then yeah, close out that one. Okay, Marcel's next. So you want the actual projects? Absolutely. If you, if you don't have them uploaded now, make sure they're uploaded by tomorrow night. That's going to be the cutoff.
out as soon as I complete my other classes, I can upload something. Um, then I include some skills. This one I used a different background so that it wouldn't be too white. And um, my content information, in case somebody has any questions. Um, and I think the e-portfolio on its own is a reflection of how I like to present my works. Very clean, well organized, it has the specific information that I want to show, and that's it. projects uh, that I still want to change a little bit. I want to explain more about it because I wasn't able to uh, explain well what is this document for example, what is this one. Okay. So uh, I'll have to still have to. Yeah, I think that format that uh, what Marcel is using or, or you know, where you've got a little description about the project or yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. yeah. And so you got the information there. It's just a question of yeah, being able to know yeah, the to, what yeah, it is. Yeah, to, to explain because it's uh, it's a little more difficult <laughs> if you just open the project and you know you don't know what it is. Yeah. And the contact. And that's it. Yeah. All right. Good job. Straightforward. <laughs> One minute. Okay. Evan's not here, so let's see. Looks like Jarvis is now. <coughs> Where Jarvis? Oh, there he is. Yeah, right here. <laughs> hey, go ahead and close out Evan. Alright, so here's my site. Uh, pretty much, I kept it pretty simple. Right now, I'm still going through the job, or the interview process. So, um, I've met with uh, the Career Development Center and things like that. And I had this long resume and bring it down to two, so I'm like, okay, it's e-portfolio being a resume of myself, keep it simple. So if you guys can see here, I start off with a picture, just like a, a city. Introduce myself, hello, I'm Jarvis. Here's a picture of myself and a bio, and if they want to learn more, they can go ahead and click into there. And if I had a video, this is probably where I would put the video at. It needs to be there by tomorrow night. <laughs> well, okay, I'm not trying to be. No, no, no. I mean, you had all semester to work on this. Yeah. It just don't look right. So, um, pretty much, I went through my education experience. And then the next <laughs> step up was my real estate experience. We're going to list my current jobs and positions and what they entail. All right. And then I get into uh, just other professional experience that I have. That might help, might not. So, um, I just had an interview with Atlantic Pacific, and it was for affordable housing. So this this job title right here, uh, when I worked in community outreach, it actually helped a little bit. Um, so actual professional experience, and then I get into my projects. 
So it's like a little drag through here where all the projects in this little detail. Okay, and can you click on both the reports? Well, I had I had a tab here, but I took it off. I, I was speaking with Dara, and it's pretty much like I came through this interview and the one that we did for the Terry Styles Development Challenge. I brought it in the interview, and I thought it was great, but I ended up leaving the um, the presentation there. And I don't know. I just had an uneasy feeling, like man, I left some work that could be potentially a real project on the table. So I just left it at that. Um, just make sure you get a little bit tomorrow night. The reports. Absolutely. Okay. So the reports uh, go here and all the tabs. Are because there, there's, there's another piece to this that I didn't mention earlier, but, but it's also part of the reason why we're, we're doing this final exam thing. The university is going through an accreditation process, so we're having a variety of people, both internally and externally, looking at everything every program does. Okay. okay. And so whenever these folks are coming in from other schools across the country, we have to show them, in essence, what we are doing in our program, what our students are doing in our program, and, and showing them examples of their work. Okay. And so part of this process is to also be able to show these, these external reviewers what our students are, are doing and what they're um, capable of. And so if you're not including these projects, that doesn't help us. Not even know. Okay, so um, this is pretty much all the projects that I pretty much did here. Um, I kind of went into a little detail, but not too much. And then um, just my professional affiliations. And then once you go through the list of professional affiliations, we get down to the Let's Connect. I have my contact information here. And um, I'll leave it off with a small quote. And then so the back side. I only see one that popped up here, but I just had uh, MSRED photos of just my experience. So I had the Cuba trip, the, um, the Bright Line, the tours of the Bright Line. I see only the one for Habitat Humanity. Okay. Make sure to get those uploaded. Okay. okay. Cool. We can close that out and we'll see what we can do about and it. And Alo's not here. He's, <laughs> man, he's getting pasta ligos. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, right? <laughs>
And I got a little button on this one. I sold this project at DR Horton back in 2015. And um, that's what they that's what they're building up. So anyway, I just thought that would be a augment kind of augment um, I can't see them see here. Would augment um, Okay. So anyway, these this is a project in Fort Myers that um, on the left here that um, my partners and I they still haven't sold it because of the recession. But I just love the colors of the whoever did this. The the uh, it's Morocco and Associates over Fort Myers. This is the Red Sox Stadium site that we sold for twenty five million dollars against sixteen other um, landowners back in two thousand ten when the market was terrible. We had about 18 million in, in debt on it, so it was a huge save to our families. It was a huge sale, and I got to meet the commissioners. It was an 18-month process. Um, this little commercial piece over here, this industrial piece, I bought in Lakeland, and it was the perfect scenario. I bought it for 1.6 million. I sold it for 5.2 in two years. I made a ton of money, and Cabot still has not built that site. It's still sitting there. It was a bad deal for them, but a great deal for me. Um, Anyway, that's a little bit of my background. I just kind of like threw that in there. I don't know if that's if that's pertinent or not, but I wanted to use it like a resume. And then I wanted to promote the school a little bit. Um, here's our PowerPoint presentation from um, our challenge, which we should have won. <laughs> um, a little, I took this from the website, Terry Style website. There's my little video. And then um, if you hit this NSR, I kind of wanted to promote the school. Um, not so much myself, but I mean, that's kind of like the whole thing. And then I um, just have my little contact information. I think I could have done a lot more. Like I said, I would like to add my resume. Um, but right now, I want to be careful because I'm at I'm employed and I don't want somebody to think that I'm looking for a job, which I really am. And uh, that's really well, my, didn't mean that that's my website. <laughs> uh, that's my website. But um, it's really right now, if you're looking for a position in real estate, there are so many out there, and it's like the perfect time to go to school and finish. Because real estate, when it was the recession, nobody needed you, nobody wanted you, and it was crap. But now it's back. Thanks, Michael. Okay, I think uh, Chris.
I want to show quickly that my links, you know, you want to see my LinkedIn, it'll work. And you'll see what you have to log in. If you're logged in, it'll work. And then if you want to see some of my things on my Instagram for real estate, you will be able to see that. And you see that I have a whole bunch of, you know, it's called This with Chris for a lot of the real estate flips and rehabs that I've done. Has a couple of you know, things that are not related to real estate, but have helped uh, some of the projects before and after. Um, I think this is a good one. You see, like a lot of properties that I bought and or fixed and sold. And like that. So, now, where are your uh, class projects? I don't have a section. Okay, you can have those up by tomorrow night. statements, parking calculations. Um, I tried to spruce up the spreadsheets as best as I could to kind of keep them, you know, inviting, not so black and white. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, I don't want to waste too much time, but um, if you have any questions specifically about the projects, please go ahead. Do you have a, the full project, or you just have just the, the the pieces that you contributed specifically? Specifically, yeah. Okay. Well, um, as far as some of these calculations, I think Ed, you helped me out on a little bit. Um, I mean, in my opinion, if it's a group project, you should go ahead and include the full group project. But you can still isolate out and say, "I did this specifically," like okay. you can there. Okay. Because. Sometimes it, it helps to put things in the context of why they were done. Right. Sure. Because okay. someone looking at that, they're going to say, okay, well, there's some you know, great site plans, but that sure. doesn't inherently tell me what, what this was all about. Right. Okay. All right. And then I saw this on... Justin's profile, kind of like the each class, and um, yeah, I think it's fine to put up there. I mean, but I would have. I mean, that's the place where I would be able to like click on one of those for your actual projects. Okay, it would be the easiest way to, to do it. Gotcha. Okay. Coursework. Okay. Here's, there, there here's the clickables. Okay, that's what I was. All right. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. The Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so I, I didn't find those earlier, so how do I get to that? Uh, MSRED coursework. Yeah. Um, and then you click on. Yes, okay, so deal structure spreadsheet. Okay. And then. I don't know why. I feel like it should just pop up. And like it well, it takes a little time with this machine. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you now. You probably want to do like Eduardo was talking about. You know, put some labels out there as a, or you know, descriptive labels in terms of uh, like a couple of sentences about each one of those, so we know what they are. Okay. So, so this is my thing. Going back to curriculum. Yep. We got the numbers right. The CRN yep, numbers. Yep, yep, yep. And then the numbers. Right. In front of right. Okay, fifty-eight ninety-five. Right. I know that that's the financial modeling class. You know that. You know City that. of Corral. You know, we don't know. Project. We don't necessarily know that, and a potential employer is not going to know that. I don't you know, want to keep clicking back. Part, part of the idea is to make it really easy for them to be able to access it, so that they can, you know, see what you did for that particular course. So maybe these icons should be on yes this page Correct. next to yes yeah. that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. So, and then I took basically learned all this in school, and this is kind of like how I apply it to you know, the professional right. world. Perfect. So, and that's it. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. And I think uh, let's see. So our last one, uh, Bont. Oh, oh, you got the phone. We'll get you some seconds. <laughs> Where's the Pasolitos? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm going to show like, uh, my brief presentation of my website. I have the home, the Karel project and product is on the home. I have some sort of a little additional description so that people, you know, it doesn't be more than a couple of sentences, but just so that they kind of understand the context of what it is. Like a description of every presentation? Yeah. On the project uh, where I work, uh, there is a rental building in 10 years. We have the demolition video with some pictures of the building. On the other project as a downtown home in Coral Gables, you have uh, the floor plans and the picture of the progress of the construction. I think I think those two features alone you did a really good job with with the uh, how you integrated the photos, but also the the streaming video. And the last uh, the properties we manage and contact. We have uh, the videos of each of the projects located in Florida. Of the location and the tenants. I mean, I have the full resume on the top of the, okay. the page. Okay. Good. Good job. I like it. Good problems pulled up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, it looks very different. Or you may have to um, do the reverse of what Grant did to increase the size, what, like control plus? Um, Is that right? Yeah, control plus, zoom in. Whoops. because although you tell people your uh, new real estate development program, they, they kind of really don't know what that means. They may think it means um, a basic real estate program, but this, we're actually developing real estate in this program. So. And you hit the nail on the head. That's, that's the whole reason right there. You would want as much information as you can possibly put on these e-portfolios because unfortunately, whenever you mention that you're going through a real estate master's program, the only thing that pops into most people's head is your oh, okay. learning how to be a broker? Yeah, I think someone asked me the other day. They're like, oh, "Are you going to take your sales, like your right. sales no, license?" Right. Yeah. But that's that's my point. That is the if, if there's no other reason yeah. to do a really good job in the e-portfolio right. is to blow people out of the water whenever they ask you that question and you sort of show them this and they're like, "Oh, now I understand." Okay, that it's not about selling houses. It's about obviously yeah. taking that raw dirt and converting it into something and then doing the financing and marketing and everything else associated with it. Okay. Right, right, right. And it's a unique program. I'm sure you guys have done that. that so where, where did you get the data from? Did you take it from the school's website or? That's our catalog description okay. of our courses. Yeah. yeah. I need to add some um, two or three more questions on it. But yeah, that's our, uh, and in the beginning, um, Dr. Ford sent us a list of the past students' portfolios. And so one of them, there's like one guy that had this on here, and I was like, you know what? That actually, um, that actually was a good idea. Um, so my next session is projects. Um, I did put one school project on here, but there was someone in this class. Um, I'm gonna click on it. It just links to uh, the actual assignment that was sent in for uh, Professor Henning. But let me just go back real quick. Um, there was someone in this class who. Yeah, everybody had like their school projects, but they actually put up their projects they're currently working on. So I thought that was uh, pretty pretty cool. So for for our assignment or for the assignment for the e-portfolio, it's, it's mandatory that you have projects for your courses. Okay. It's optional to have the others. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, I did put one project up there. I had some issues with some file sizes, so I got to figure out how to like in a nice way. I saw uh, Grant had. His projects that I see is like maybe a different type of format, so um, it was a little tricky for me. But these are the two of the sites that I'm, okay. I'm currently managing. Just make sure you get that done by tomorrow night. Okay. Okay. Understood. Um, resume. Yeah, you don't need to play the yeah, video. Yeah, so play crooked, but I gave like a brief. Um, summary of, of who I am really as a professional. And I know on like some resumes, they want you to break down like all these extensive details on your position, but, but it's really about like, the skill set in my opinion. Yep. So I agree. to the part, to the far right, you know, multi-site management, yep. budget, all of that, budget analysis, like my little uh, things I'm, yep. I'm really pretty good I like that, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna put um, some schooling below it. Okay. And softwares, because in our industry, there's so many different softwares that people are using. Um, and then well, that'll grow with us. I haven't had all this yet, so I'm excited to uh, throw that out there. Uh, community uh, involvement. So uh, the number one thing that makes my job easier, which is also good for the program, is um, our involvement with like the local associations. And so I'm in the apartment world, so CIFA is really huge. That's a huge platform for me. Um, uh, ULI is huge. They have an event coming up this week. Any ladies in here? Um, 
Flower Village Flag or Village Civic Association. This is where I get all my GC details before they announce uh, some of the developments publicly. And this is where I like rub elbows with people you wouldn't normally just wouldn't normally see because the setting is so small. So like this this meeting may have like 20 people in it, but in that meeting you could meet the mayor, you could meet um, developers, uh, a commissioner. So it's a really tricky way to uh, get in get in front of them. Um, this comes with our, our enrollment here. I don't know if a lot of people know that. So you're like we're like already assimilated as a student member, and then um, Urban League of Broward County. That's that's big um, in the urban setting. And then I went ahead and became like an associate member because the the ULI is like really really heavy. Um, I didn't know it was that intense. I went to the Vision Awards last year uh, with Nova's invitation, but um, that is a major organization for us. And then. Um, I don't have free time, but if I did, um, I'm like I hang out a lot in Flagler Village, so I have like a little Instagram about the food that's going on in there because they're packing a lot of restaurants, a lot of events um, into this little neighborhood. So it's it's kind of fun to see that and watch that grow. <coughs> and you also meet people. So in going to some of these organizations, like I met um, and befriended Urban Planner, who has a huge blog of real estate development at Fort Lauderdale, he's tracking it at like the acquisition level. So he, he gets his hands on the renderings before anybody else does. He's just um, a, a large pot of, of information. Um, contact, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. I didn't put contact last because, you know, accolades is kind of like a little cherry on top. You know, sometimes accolades are just fleeting. They're, they're there for that moment, but you know, they're great to recap. People trying to really see what, uh, what you're about. Um, so our resume is one thing, but I, I'm really about trying to just brand myself outside of my industry also. Um, because you never know like, how your life may switch and turn. And yeah, we love real estate right now, but you never know how I can transition into anything. And a lot of, um, a lot of people that came through and, and were speaking for us, they like started out as one thing and it transitioned into something else. And we have no idea what platform this will boost us to. Even though this is our current level, we have no idea what's going to change in the industry. So, um, so Legacy Magazine is top 40 in the 40. Uh, I did sell on the board of Prison Father Village. Um, I snagged the CFO Award a couple of years ago, and then I snagged the Management Award a couple of years ago. There's a few missing off here because I. I don't just um, I don't just like do my job. I really try to set myself apart from the people that I work for and my counterparts. That's kind of like a little trick I do. And um, you know, some of them have been in the industry longer. Some of them might be smarter than me, but um, I just kind of like outwork my competition. And that's kind of how I. Um, they're not going to stay like that extra hour, that extra day. Like when I leave here, I'm going to work because uh, my other site sealed recently. So it's. That's just my little clever way, because although some people may write a better paper than me, or they just may be doing something different, like I literally at work, outwork the competition, and just I don't just brand myself with my supervisor. I make sure I make sure the people like in corporate know, the county department sees my work. So it's like a full fledged uh, system I have to try to like stand out from my counterparts. <laughs> that it's hard for me to bring into Nova too. It's hard, man, you guys are good, so it's hard to outdo <laughs> most of you in this room, <laughs> but I'm gonna try. So yeah, so this is my e-portfolio. Then when I get some extra uh, money, I definitely wanna have like a, a nicer photo. Um, this evolved into something I had no idea what become, so now I'm really wanting to maybe like invest some money into maybe some better photos or some content on there that will uh, really stand out. Perfect. Great, thank you very much. Okay, here's the plan. Um, what we're gonna do, um, I'm we're gonna take a quick break, but during that break, I wanna get, for those of you that haven't got your headshots yet, we're gonna do quick headshots over here. And then after that, then we are going to do the, the little test, and I'll talk about that when we come back for the break. Okay, so those of you that haven't got the headshots, kind of line up over here, let's do that real quick. 
going to wear the same color suit this morning, but I, I don't know where my jacket is. Great. 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 I just bought the suit. She's like, I don't want to wear it. Oh, that's right. I'm going to take a look. Tennis, anyone? All right. Hey, that's a nice break. What do we got? Tennis and fishing. Come on over. Yeah, yeah, I actually shrank Yeah, it was too large. Yeah. All right, anybody else? Like anybody else? Yeah,